Well, I do want to say I am watching um, a Steve Shives live stream, trying to get uh, um, trying to get uh, ideas on TV shows to watch. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, also. Ooh, Quantum Leap, I want to add that to my list. I'll be right back. Also, as of right now, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I took off all, uh, filters that filter out, uh, certain words on my uh, YouTube channel, so. People are now able to um, comment pretty much anything on my YouTube channel. I want to see how that goes. Uh, before, at least for a while, I had a few um, a few words that uh, triggered the uh, YouTube thing, at, where I put it in and it would trigger where it wouldn't show up. And it would automatically mark as spam. And uh, as of now, those limitations are off. So if you want, feel free to comment anything you want regarding whatever topic I talk about or whatever you think I should talk about. Man, with this whole COVID thing going on. I would have thought by now that uh, with everybody doing face masks, I would have thought that I would have been, I don't know, used to grabbing mine before I left. But, you know, I guess I'm not. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i want to do i hope that you're safe and See you soon If I can lay down beside you I would, I would I would I would We talk on the phone Every night Love to hear your voice You're right, but you should know it You've been gone for way too long now If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I want to do I hope that you're safe And that I'll see you soon If I could lay down beside you Beside you, I would, I would When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe and that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you, I would, I would If I can lay down beside you, I would
Well, in that last clip, I didn't do this intentionally, but you could hear a guy screaming in the background, more than likely. Um, when it comes to that, although I agree with what was being said, based off of what I heard, how it was being said was kind of making me a little uneasy which I'm sure he was going for on that but uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what he said until I overheard him say something about the word cracker and then I heard him say something about him going to jail and, uh, that's when I started getting a little uneasy. But, uh, he was talking about what happened with George Floyd. Now, for those of you who don't know who have been living under a rock, George Floyd was killed a month or so ago, I think. And... In fact, let's look it up here. Uh, anyway. He was talking about George Floyd. And... He was talking about the, uh... Whole... Yeah, it was a, almost exactly a month ago this happened. For those of you who don't know, George Floyd was killed on um, May 25th, 2020, and uh, George Floyd was a 46-year-old black man he was killed in Minneapolis during an arrest allegedly for using a counterfeit bill. Um, and uh, the story was uh, trying to use that wound up uh, calling the cops because it, apparently that's the store policy. Derek Chauvin, a white police officer, knelt on Floyd's neck for almost nine minutes while Floyd was handcuffed and lying face down, begging for his life and repeatedly saying, I can't breathe. Now, there were four, <coughs> oh, excuse me, there were four cops um, present. Um, Derek Chauvin, as I said before, was kneeling on, his, uh, on Floyd's neck. Uh, two others, uh, two other cops wound up restraining Floyd. While the fourth one wound up preventing bystanders from intervening. And, uh, autopsies found Floyd's death to be a homicide. Now, he was talking about the, the guy that I was talking about before, who was yelling wound up talking about going to jail 
and cops kneeling on the people's neck enough to kill them and how that pissed him off and was saying that it could happen to anyone so there are still people out there talking about at least the death of George Floyd and although the way this person was talking about everything although that made me uneasy I agreed with what he was saying I didn't try to step in I let him say what he was planning on saying he had a point to prove and I agree with the point that I took away from it um, if you want to see what sparked the whole um, protests and demonstrations and riots and everything all over the world for the Black Lives Matter thing it was what happened with Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd's neck <laughs> I have a video showing what Derek, Cho uh, Derek Chauvin was doing on my channel as well as a playlist that covers my opinions and all that on my channel. If you want to check them out, I'll try to remember to link those videos in the video description. But if you want to check those videos and playlists out, feel free to go to my channel and click on playlists and find the one about Derek Chauvin. So, would you rather fall through the toilet hole in an outhouse or be temporarily trapped beneath a pile of dead animals? <sighs> yeah, I kind of, I don't know, it's, today's kind of been a long day for me. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I was, I couldn't sleep at all the past few nights, and, um, fell asleep today at like 7, maybe 8 o'clock, woke up at like 3, so, Uh, you saw me pick up some food. Now I'm uh, making some fish sticks for dinner. Um, so if you made it this far, give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification once you do subscribe. And make sure you check out all my social media down below. I do try and post there as regularly as I possibly can. And, for those of you wondering, this is what I'm making for dinner. So, if anything, I'll uh, let you guys know what I think. I haven't had this brand of uh, fish sticks so this is preheat to 375. Well, seeing as I didn't show you the uh, fish sticks, I'm just going to go, goodbye.